Yay! The brand new patterns from Villa Rosa have arrived. This is for December, so the video is a little bit late. All of the patterns are on the website, ready to be digitally downloaded so that you can choose any of these patterns that you love and enjoy print it off, have it on your tablet, and then go through your fabric stash or go to your favorite quilt shop and start sewing any of these projects. This is going to be an amazing video. Quilting Your Legacy starts now. If you have a panel that you're not quite sure what to do with, I've got a pattern for you. This one is using 10 different fat quarters, that's it. 10 different fat quarters, boom, you've got a quilt. And then we have a 12 fat quarter pattern. Again, all you need is 12 different fat quarters and one yard of contrasting fabric. This adorable pattern is also using fat quarters. This one, you're gonna need nine fat quarters with a two yard background, which was that white color. And then we have a two and a half inch strip pack quilt. All you need is 40 different two and a half inch strips. This is not ombre fabric. This is putting fabrics together to create an ombre look. This would be gorgeous with valley fabrics. And then last but certainly not least, there's a table topper of baskets. I know that they're using fall fabrics, but this could be so stinking cute using Valentine's Day fabrics with red and pinks. Oh, I love it. So let's review these patterns one at a time so that you know exactly what you need to make them. If we haven't met before, hi, I'm Emily from Norton House Quilting and the founder of Quilting Your Legacy. And if you are a quilter, you belong here because we are not meant to sew alone. And together, we are going to create a legacy quilt and table toppers for you to enjoy along with your favorite people. Your legacy deserves to live on. And through homemade quilted projects, it will. Because gifting sewn projects to your favorite people is legendary. Click the subscribe button, that way you never miss out on another video. So first up is Grand Prize. It is 51 inches by 69 inches. All you need is one panel, approximately 24 inches, and then of course the length of it. You will want the contrasting fabrics of the light and dark that goes with the quilt panel. So to make this quilt, you are going to need one panel, again, approximately 24 inch panel. The border fabric is going to be three eighths of a yard cut. The background fabric is a yard and a half. Then for your rows, which is the strips going around the panel, you're going to need for the first row, an eighth of a yard, the second row, a quarter of a yard, the third row, a half of a yard, and then the fourth row, a quarter of a yard. Basically, you're just going to need one panel along with four accent colors, which will be the lights and then the darks. And then the background fabric, which will really make the fabrics just pop right out. This is a brilliant pattern to use for any type of panel. And then all you're basically doing is adding strips going all the way around. The second pattern is Biscotta. Biscotta is a quilt pattern and it is going to measure 48 inches by 64 inches. All you need is 10 different fat quarters. I love these types of quilts because they go fast, they whip up quick and easy, and it's a no-brainer quilt. So basically, you're going to be cutting out the strips, and then you're just going to be sewing them back together again. So to make this quilt, again, all you're going to need is 10 different fat quarters, along with a half of a yard for the binding. To cut out this quilt, basically, you're going to be cutting out eight and a half inch strips from your fat quarters, and then again, just sewing them right together. This is going to be a brilliant couch size quilt. And of course, if it's too small for you, not a big deal. You can go ahead and make it longer by cutting out more of those strips. If you need any inspiration for fabric, check out our 12 fat quarter bundles. Then all you need to do is choose one fat quarter bundle and boom, you can make this adorable quilt. The third pattern is Sanguan. This is a quilt. It is measuring at 54 inches by 72 inches. Here's another fun and fast fat quarter quilt project. All you're going to need is 12 different fat quarters to make this and one 
tonal to then highlight your fabrics zipping all around. All you're going to need is one yard of the contrasting fabric. To make this quilt, you are going to need 12 fat quarters. Again, check out the fat quarter bundle collections. And then you're going to need one yard of the coordinating fabric, which is then it's going to zip all around. And then for the binding, you're going to need five eighths of a yard cut. So to make this quilt, all you need to do is cut your 12 fat quarters into the same dimensions, and then your contrasting fabric into three inch strips. And again, all you need is 12 different fat quarters to make this quilt along with one contrasting fabric. And basically you're gonna be making the same block over and over again. So if this again is a little bit too small, not a big deal. Go ahead and just add more blocks to it. It's the way that you're flipping the blocks together, which is what is going to create this adorable quilt. And then we have the fourth pattern. Again, you're not going to believe this, but all you need is fat quarters. This quilt is measuring at 63 inches by 75 inches. This is going to be a really great quilt to choose any of your favorite colors, your favorite seasons, on top of maybe choosing one of your favorite people to make a quilt for. And again, choosing their favorite colors, their favorite seasons. So to make this particular quilt, all you're going to need is nine different fat quarters along with two yards of a background fabric and then three quarters of a yard for your binding. To make this quilt, you're basically going to be cutting the fat quarters from the length of the fabric parallel. So it's going to be the length of the fat quarter. So from this, the fold, from the cut fold to the selvage, that's how you're going to get your long strip out of the fat quarter. If again, if you wanted to make this a little bit larger, not a big deal. You easily can make this quilt larger, which I love. It's always nice to have options. If the person that you're making this quilt for is a tall person, it is so nice to be able to get that length out of the quilt for them. Nobody wants cold toes. <laughs> And then we have take five. Take five is 50 inches by 50 inches. I've got one word for you for this adorable quilt. Bally watercolor fabrics. Oh, wait. Okay, so that's three words. I've got three words for you. Wouldn't this be gorgeous using vibrant bally fabrics? I love how they chose using blue fabrics, but... You could do tans into browns or even reds into oranges. Get that fall New England type colors into this adorable quilt. All you're going to need is 40 different two and a half inch strips. So if you have any jelly rolls laying around, again, this would be a really, really great quilt using up any jelly rolls you're going to need. And then with your jelly roll pack, just a friendly reminder, you are going to want that contrasting color. So you are going to want the light to the dark. And then you're going to need a half of a yard for the binding. So to cut out this particular quilt, you're going to be pairing your strips to get that color value from light to dark. And then you're going to be sewing the strips together and then cutting them out, which is how you're going to get that adorable ombre feel quilt. And again, I love how they chose the blue fabrics, but you don't have to. You could literally do the browns into tans. I mean, there is no right or wrong answer when it comes to this quilt. And then last but certainly not least is baskets. Again, I really love how they chose using fall fabrics for this particular pattern. I'm going to be making this with the Quilting Your Legacy Table Topper Club in February. And, and we are going to be using Valentine's Day fabrics with the reds and the pinks. So that way it's baskets full of love. <laughs> to make this table topper, you are going to need four different fat quarters, which is what is going to create the baskets. And then you're going to need a half of a yard for the background fabric. And then three quarters of a yard for the border, and then a third of a yard for the binding. So to make the baskets, you're basically going to be using the fat quarters. And then of course the pattern has the dimensions on it. This particular pattern is going to be absolutely brilliant for New England type color fabrics for the autumn time. And of course, for Valentine's Day, I'm going to make it baskets full of love. Thank you so much for watching. And you can digitally download any of these patterns so that you can start sewing immediately. So again, right on the website, they are all ready to be downloaded digitally so that you can purchase it print it out if you want or have it on your tablet and start cutting your fabrics to make any of these 
quilted projects. Again, I am Emily. Thank you so much for watching. Happy quilting your legacy. And I will see you back here with another video next month on January's patterns from Villa Rosa. I appreciate you. Happy quilting your legacy. Bye for now, everyone.